Hello po, andito po ako ngayon sa harapan ng Red Deer City Hall. At uh, naisip ko pong daanan ulit ito dahil alam kong may magagandang uh, tanim na naman sila ng mga bulaklak dito sa harapan ng City Hall. At uh, eto nga guys, uh, gusto kong ishare sa inyo ang mga bulaklak na ito. Red Deer is a city in Alberta, Canada, about halfway between Calgary and Edmonton. Ayan, is Red Deer, Alberta a good place to live? Red Deer has been ranked 12th in Canada's best place to live, 2018 and 4th overall in Alberta according to Money Sense. Red Deer's economy is diversifying with the arts, culture, recreation, and sport among the industries accounting for the best job growth in the city in recent years. Alberta famous for It is Alberta's third most populous city after Calgary and Edmonton. The city is located in Aspen Parkland, a region of rolling hill that is home to oil, grain, and cattle production. It is a center for oil and agriculture distribution, and surrounding region is a major center for petrochemical production. If you want to know if Red Deer is a dangerous city, Red Deer is the 10th most dangerous place in Canada based on overall crime according to rankings by McLean's magazine. The numbers show the city's crime severity index is 170 compared with the Canadian's average of 75. The same rankings last year put the city in 6th spot with the crime severity at 222. Red Deer is easy to get around and offers many of the amenities you would expect to have in Canada's larger cities. It's a great place to raise a family, work, and play. Red Deer's growing economy is built on traditional and emerging sectors. The good news is that Red Deer has been ranked 12th in Canada's best place to live. 2018 and fourth overall in Alberta. Nearby to Lacombe, which ranked first place overall in Alberta, Red Deer is growing quickly with low and rapidly dropping unemployment rates. And so guys, if you are in Canada and you want to move in Red Deer, well, I think this is a nice place. Red Deer has something for everyone, from indoor arts and entertainment to outdoor fun. Whether you are a lover of sports, nature, shopping, or food, you will find plenty of things to keep you occupied while visiting the beautiful city. One of the nature center's main draws is its 5-kilometer trail system that runs to a 118-hectare protected bird sanctuary. View migratory birds while strolling along the trail or from its various viewing decks. The Kerrywood Nature Center is also a hands-on center that has exhibits showcasing the area's natural history. There is also a music garden that features numerous outdoor instruments where visitors can make some beautiful music together. If your hobby is fishing or canoeing, ice skating, kayaking, or cycling, there's even a board game cafe at Bower Ponds Recreation Center that sits along the Red Deer River. Visit in the winter and lace up a pair of ice skates and skate on the frozen water or hire a sled to pull the kids on. Come to the city in the summer and enjoy water sports like kayaking, canoeing, or paddle boarding, or walk on the water in a water ball. You can also visit Fort Normandu in Red Deer. It is more than just a fort. It's also part of the city's rich cultural history and the birthplace of Red Deer as we know it today. The fort was once the gateway between northern and southern Alberta and was known as the safest spot to cross the river. In 1884, a stopping house was built 
and one year later it was fortified by the 65th Mount Royal Rifles. Today, North Mandu is park and an interpretive center that offers exhibits on the natural and human history of the city. It also houses a boat launch that visitors can use as starting point for canoeing along the river. Sports enthusiasts should not miss the chance to visit the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame to learn all about Alberta's top sports celebrities. The museum was created by the Alberta Amateur Athletic Union in 1957, with its first inductees being boxers Charles Chisman, Rolf Gibbs, and Hugs Long. In 1997, the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame and Museum Society took over and made it it was it is today. The museum is filled with sports archives, including a poster of the 1978 Commonwealth Games in Edmonton, limited edition prints of hockey great Wayne Gretzky, and the 1995 Canada Winter Games tart. At ito naman ang monument ni Mr. Kate Mann. Mr. Kate Mann is a director of bands at Red Deer College in Alberta. Mr. Mann served as a guest conductor, lecturer, clinician, and adjudicator throughout Canada, the United States, and Europe. Mr. Kate Mann died in a tragic motorcycle accident at the age of 61 on May 11, 2001. Kate was a tireless music advocate who inspired many of his students to consider careers in the music industry. In addition to his executive positions with the Music Fest Canada, Mr. Mann was a national officer and a past president of the Canadian Band Association, founding chair of the Canadian Concert Band Festivals, and music director for Canadian Youth on Tour. He established the Canadian Band Journal, serving as its editor for the past 22 years. If you want to delve into Red Deer's history, then head to the Red Deer Museum Art Gallery, locally known as The Mag. Wander around the gallery and stare at its permanent collection, remarkable Red Deer stories from the heart of the parkland. The gallery also special exhibitions that run throughout the year. If you want to meet some animals like chickens, goats, pigs, sheep, rabbits, donkeys, and more at the Sunnybrook Farm Museum. You can also learn all about the evolution of rural life in central Alberta at this 4 hectare historic farm and museum. Go on self-guided or guided tour of the city's oldest farm and jump back to what life was like in Red Deer and the rest of central Alberta between 1880 and 1950. See how pioneer families run a farm from working the fields to baking bread. Just 9 kilometers east of Red Deer on the banks of the Red Deer River is the 32-hectare Canyon Ski Resort. Hit the slopes during the winter months and ski in one of Canada's first ever ski resorts. The resort is not located in the mountains but in the hills and was one of the first Canadian ski hills to use artificial snow making equipment. In fact, the Canadian National Ski Team has used Canyon Ski Resort for training since 1960s. You can also go to the Rodeo. Not just any Rodeo, but the famous Calgary Stampede. This 10-day festival takes place every year in nearby Calgary and is a must for anyone visiting Red Deer in July. The Stampede started as an exhibition in 1886 and became a rodeo in 1916. Since then, it's grown to be one of the largest stampedes in the world, attracting over 1 million people each year. Today, the event is so large that it is held in 12 different venues across Calgary and brings in big-name talent like Tim McGraw, the Zach Brown brand, Garth Brooks, and the Beach Boys. It features numerous events including a parade, a derby, a midway, a market, and of course, a rodeo. Red Deer's first ever public market was started in 1906 where City Hall Park sits today. The Saturday morning market has rapidly grown since then. 
The market opens every year on the May long weekend and runs right until Thanksgiving and is a must for everyone visiting the city during these months. In fact, there's no reason not to go and many things to draw anyone of any age there. Mackenzie Trails Recreation Area is a trail system that's located within Waskasu Park in Northeast Red Deer. The trails runs along the Red Deer River, lined with spruce trees and greenery. Once the site of a sawmill, a gravel pit, and a dump, today the recreation area is a home to some lovely paved trails that offer visitors the chance to spend a day amongst nature. In fact, it's a nesting area for Canada geese. This is a very important message from the city hall administrations. Ang sabi po is, all of this is temporary. Ayan. All of this is temporary. Ayan po yung nakasulat yaan sa side na yan. At ang ganda ng pagkakagawa nila and Totoo naman yon na ang lahat ng mga nangyayari ngayon ay temporary lang. And basta't maniwala lang tayo na mayroong solusyon ang lahat ng problema. At sana nga yung vaccine ay isa na nga solusyon. So, let it be God. Ayan, brighter days are ahead. So, may maganda pa tayong kinabukasan guys. Ayan, let's just pray and hoping na maging maayos na ang sitwasyon ng mundo. Para makapagsimula ulit tayo, maggawa po natin ang mga dapat natin gawin guys. Ayan. No visit to Red Deer is complete without heading to the Banff National Park. This is the oldest national park in all of Canada in part of the spectacular Rocky Mountains. If you're visiting in the summer with your kids, splash around at the Bluegrass Sad Farm Central Spray and Play. The water park can be found at the north end of Rotary Recreation Park in downtown Red Deer. So that is all for today guys. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. This is Asian's Adventures and Travel saying God bless and let's take care of ourselves and just share love and blessings to everyone. Ayan guys, I'm in Red Deer Municipal Hall. And this is the garden in front of the city hall. So bye for now.